Well, good morning. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. It is Monday, November 28, 2011. I have a tremendous passage today. We are in Luke chapter 6, verse 26. Woe to you when all people speak well of you, for so their fathers did to the false prophets. Remember, woe is a curse. And do you want everybody to speak nice of you? Is that what you want? You want everybody to like you? You want to be popular? You're going to go straight to hell? Yeah. I didn't say it. Jesus said, woe to you. That's a curse. You're in bad, bad shape. Because... False prophets get treated that way. This is particularly talking if uh, you're somebody who teaches the Bible or claims to teach the Bible or claims to be a Christian, claims to stand up for God, and yet you're more concerned with what everybody thinks. You know how you can get everybody to like you? Don't judge anybody. Don't criticize Anything anybody says, don't take a strong stand anywhere. You know, we just got through Thanksgiving weekend, and of course that's college football rivalry weekend, and a lot of you are in cities or states uh, that have big rivalries this past weekend. And of course around here, the big one is Clemson, South Carolina. You know how you, you know, I, I wore my Clemson shirt uh, at uh, work Saturday, and I got criticized by the Carolina fans. Uh, but you know, I could have just worn a, a, a neutral shirt, a, a, a college that's not around here that nobody cares about, and I wouldn't have had any issue. All right? If, you, if you're not willing to take a stand, then you could be popular. So if you want popularity now, if you want to be popular with the crowd, you won't be popular with God. Now let me throw a caveat in here. You could get some short-term popularity and still be a strong Christian. And you can and since we live in a Christian nation, you could be popular with a certain segment of the population. But if you want all men to like you, if you want to be popular with everybody, you you know you can't do it and follow God. Let me give you a tremendous example. Okay, and this is another sports related one. Tim Tebow. You know, a lot of people love Tim Tebow. A lot of people hate him. Why do they hate him? There's nothing to hate about the guy. The guy wins football games. He's humble. He gives glory to God. Why do they hate him? I just said why they hate him. Because he wins, and if you're playing, if, if you're on a team that he beats, you're not going to like him. But he's humble, and he gives glory to God. People don't like that. They don't want him to, especially to the degree he does. So they hate him. But he just won again yesterday. But he's not going to be popular with everybody. So, I would encourage you, seek the approval of God not the approval of men. And what that's going to mean is there's going to be a lot of people don't like you and what it could eventually mean is you will be persecuted. Most likely to come from religious prideful leaders. And we've dealt with that over and over again. So, there you go. So just ask yourself. And I would encourage you, especially if you're a leader, to ask yourself, are you popular? All right, because if you're real popular, you're probably not popular with God. Come back tomorrow for the next edition of Take 5.